Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Mary Pond live from the HQs of Goose Goose Ponder. But you give them, they go here and straight to the matter. Today, I'm talking about what's on the on the, what's on the table today, man. Legit matters, real matters. I'm talking about the one and only Young Dove. It's Dove. So sad that everything just had to come out the way it came out. So sad that that's, that's life. I'm trying to tell you today the reason why Young Dove got taken out by Yo Gotti and CMG, the level. Straight to the matter. Let's go. Take it on Liquid Choco Milo. Young Dove was taken out by CMG, Yo Gotti, the whole collective music group. I want to tell you something special today. You need to know that life is a game. Life is like a chess game. Life is like a mysterious puzzle, which is very, very hard to solve. Life is a chess game. And the rap game is like a chess game. The rap game is like a dope game. The music business is like a dope game. So straight to the matter, let me tell you how everything went out. Memphis is divided into two sections. We have the North Memphis and the South Memphis. And Memphis has two sides when it comes to the music business presently at the moment. One side is controlled by Yogoti and Daddy O, who owns the independent record label they call PRE, Paper Route Empire. Paper Route Empire. Paper Route Empire and the other half is being controlled by CMG, Yogodi and his brothers and his partners. So let me break everything down so you in case you understand. So in Memphis, if you are coming up as the, as an independent artist or as an artist who is on the rise or trying to make waves in the world or Memphis and as a place, you are usually attracted to these two record labels which are let me say kind of independent or which have the, the largest shareholder shareholder of the of the, of, of the environment in memphis so you're either drawn towards paper Rap empire or you're either drawn towards collective music group which is cmg which the collective music group is managed by your gutsy and his brothers like i told you earlier on and paper route empire which is owned by young Dove, is Dove, and his call and his partner daddy yo so earlier on in young Dove's career when he was coming up he moved to atlanta and got in touch with um the one and only gucci he even paid for his show to perform at the concert, ten thousand dollars to perform at the concert. That's I'm just trying to tell you how everything started, and he paid ten thousand dollars to be brought on stage, to, to be given a slot to perform, and he performed that day, which he made a lot of CDs. He pressed a lot of CDs and he distributed the CDs out to the audience, and he got a lot of buzz from there. Gucci Mane contacted him, and he, he got in touch with Gucci Mane, and they started working together, making songs back to back. He stayed in Atlanta for a while and made his whole connections down there in Atlanta because Atlanta at the moment is one of the biggest places for music, for entertainment, for rap. When it comes to rap culture, Atlanta is one of the biggest places. If you really want to get your nine, your, your shine out there, you really want to get your name out there, you need to go to Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, or Atlanta, whatever, Atlanta, and that's where you can get your, your ish popping. You understand what I mean? So. Young Dove, his Dove was in Atlanta putting in work, man, working with various artists, doing collaborations here and there, putting in work, and he started getting his buzz. But mind you, Young Dove was still kind of independent. He was doing all this from his own pocket because Young Dove, from his own mouth, he said he used to be in the streets, deep in the streets, because his parents were crack addicts, and they didn't have much, so he had to go get it for himself. He really had to go put in work, grind, man, to go to the streets. He had to sell cook, sell crack sell weed do whatever it takes to get some money out there in the streets 
so he he, he was making money in the streets and he decided to rap he's got that he had the talent to rap and he started rapping putting in work rapping 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 and got perfect in, in terms of the skills so he started putting his own money into this whole music business and he was investing his money doing collaborations doing features paying artists buying verses and here here and there to for, for him to get the buzz he really 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 needed and he's by god's grace he started getting his balls on so there was one point in his career when he was coming up the infamous yo Gotti contacted him that oh my boy i see what you're doing out there man you're one of the guys who was really really buzzing out here in memphis matter of fact memphis had old legends before like the just j project park 36 mafia all those other ones their generation is already let me say a little bit older so i'm talking about the generation the younger generation when it comes to young duff and his peers so your goatee was a little bit ahead of him because he came up earlier on and he he was able to build up his own record level at first when he when he started his own record level he called the record level the others was titled cocaine music group because he was a crack baby that's what i'm saying and he was also in that lifestyle so he titled gave the name of his brand his company cocaine music but when he started getting into the business and discovered that this name is kind of contradicting and might not make me get a lot of deals might not make me reach the kind of business status i want to reach in life he's like to change the name to collective music group so branded the whole stuff to cmg collective music group cmg the level cmg the level so you got it contacted young Duff is dub my boy i want you to come sign with me i want you to sign to my record level i want you to, i want to manage you i want to put you under my wings and take you like my boys meanwhile young you go to sign one artist before they could just call him snooty something snooty but the artist, could, the artist couldn't blow up so everything just fell apart the artist left and later on he started signing some acts here and there Man, that, that was later i'll put out i'll bring that one up later so you your go to you got a young dove young dove i want to come sign with me young dove said no my boy i can want to do my stuff myself i want to be my own boss i don't want to be under someone i want to grind on my own i want to put in work by myself i want to really really get this whole stuff going by myself i see the plans the vision i have in my head and i have some money i have some backup i want to be on my own boss for myself so your go to was really really pissed off and he felt disrespected and felt snob like a, like a real ish like like a real girl i don't want to use the b word like a real lady he he, he, got, he got really 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 belittled because young dog said i cannot i cannot be i cannot be under someone i want to be a boss on my own i want to be my own boss i want to be my own empire and that was how the whole hatred started that's what that's how the whole disrespect started that's how the whole hatred enmity towards young dove started young dove now say my boy i'm going to show you that i'm a boss of my own young dove now went ahead and built his own empire he he had his own empire right from time but it wasn't that big he put in more money more work and he's and more boss more work and pre paper right empire became big by the help of his own friend they called daddy yo so they started building this whole empire and this whole empire became became big and big in memphis to the point that it became a competition to your goddy so just imagine someone who, who who you came to meet that i want you to my boy now it became so big to the point that man he, he pulls almost half of the crowd that comes out out of the talent pool that comes out of memphis pulls them towards his own wing so at this point in time, they got to now started having enmity towards Young Dove, and he started coming out Young Dove. That's how the whole problem started. They started going back and forth to the point that Young Dove said he slept with Young Your Goddess girlfriend, and he, he, the true distracts towards him and all that. They started going back and forth together online in the in the closet behind the behind the, behind behind the scene. Sometimes they don't make their, their their beefs public, but on the streets they were having real beef. So at this point in time, right now, the one and only your God now has some artists under him. He had one guy who was really working with the call Black Youngster. He started putting Black Youngster on. So Black Youngster was heavy in the streets and he claims his blood. So he has ties to the streets. So your God now being the street dude brought Black Youngster on his team. 
signed some couple of artists to the same to his record label to CMG record label. He signed Black Youngster. Black Youngster now took the beef personal, started going at Young Dove to the point that he shot at Young Dove's van of a hundred shots. Young Dove has had a couple of hits being placed on him. Let me see, two or three hits. He was shot once in Memphis, I guess, over hundred shots. He was shot somewhere in California. And he was shot somewhere again on his hands so he has had like three three attempts being placed on him by young by yogoti yogoti was trying to take young dove out because at this point in time right now young dove is more of a pain in his bum bum pain in his ass so it's just like a chess game just like a dope game when someone takes off your corner when someone comes to you your your place in which you have work even if you have your goods or whatever you're selling your product out there you need to take the person out immediately so your goddy has had so much hatred towards this guy and this guy is now becoming a competition to him you know it's like made his priority to take out young dove from memphis because at this point in time now young dove is the only artist who is competition who, who is in competition with your goddy let me tell you the artists who are signed to SMG. The one I can remember, the one I can put it on. So we have Blog Blockboy JB who is signed with CMG. That's your gorgeous record label. We have Black Youngster. We have Lo Migo. We have um let me see who else. There's a collaboration between 4PF, that's Lil Baby's record label, and your Gotti. They are they signed and a guy from detroit who goes by the name of photo dog and there's a couple of other acts there so when it comes to pro we have guys like young dove's cousin young dove's two cousins the first guy who was signed to pra paper route empire was was paper route fizu j fizu then Kick Lock was signed. Kick Lock to his young dog's cousin, and now he became he became the biggest artist on Paper Route Empire. We have Paper Route Wu, we have Snoop Bands, and we have a couple of other artists on there, including Young Dove. So at this point in time, anybody who comes out from Memphis is usually usually signed to PRE or signed to CMG. So now, for you to get the whole market share. In Memphis, Tennessee, you have to crumb, take out the head. Once you take out the head of any empire, if it's not well rooted, the whole empire crumbles and falls down like a pack of cards, like dominoes, crumbs down, falls down like like pack of cards. So your got to now went ahead and place a heat, a bounty, a young dove's head to be taken out of the whole game of the whole puzzle. And that's when the heat started coming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until last, uh, last, last, he got clapped and taken out. You know when you take out the head of any organization, if the organization doesn't have a well-rooted structure, the whole thing crumbles out. So right now, CMG is now the only standing record label in Memphis, and they are growing stronger and stronger. Young Gotti now succeeded in taking out Young Duff from the whole equation. And now the whole Memphis, the world is mine, like Al Pacino. The world is mine, like Scarface. The Memphis is your goddess, CMGs. And your has collaborations with Rock Nation and all other bigger artists out there. He's making lots of collaboration. And let me see here, he now added a couple of artists to his CMG empire. We have people like Money Baggio, who is signed to CMG. And endless entertainment we have someone like there's another guy again ESTG so see your got is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and paper rats is getting smaller and smaller and smaller so they have plans to take out the record label as they all just break them down eliminate them paper Rat empire they were making so much money because they are an independent record label who has who are, who are signed to who is signed to their independent record label who is signed to empire distributions in which they get probably 80% of all their 
revenues coming into, coming into the company for them and empire takes 20 percent whatever their deal is they do distribution for the artisan empire in which kid lock has had a couple of albums being distributed by empire so at a point in time young duff was saying he got an offer for a deal from empire what 50 million dollars or whatever but young duff was making whole hell of money because all the revenues all the money was coming to him all the and he owned his masters and all that and that, that was a pain is in, in your goddess bum bum to see, discover that man this guy is making so much money this guy is really hurting my business so i had to take him out but like 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 i said man the rap game is like a dope game it's a cold world man you just have to do what you have to do to survive you just have to do what you have to do to just put food on your table you have to take out the competition sometimes it's not personal it's just business you just, you just have you don't have any you don't you have to focus on yourself you have to focus on your business so he wanted your young dove to be his boy he wants a young boy to be under him and he wanted paper rat empire to be signed under tmg the young dove was way more smarter than him and went ahead and just made some better out of himself it's so sad that young dove died leaving two kids out there man Rest in peace, Young Duff. It's a cold word. At this moment, right now, man, CMG is just going harder and harder and higher. Only back, yo, just keep dropping heats and the heats and the heats. ESTGs keep dropping heats and heats. Forty Dog keep dropping heats and the heats and the heats. Black youngster keep dropping heats and the heats and the heats. Lil Migo keep dropping heats and Black Boy Young, Black Block Boy, JB. Drops, hits and hits and hits. So CMG is really going to the top. It's just a chess game, man. Just knock out the piece, the queen and the king, and you have the game to yourself. So you just know how to play. You just know how to move when it when it comes to business. The only mistake Young Dove did when he got shot hundred times, he went ahead and was bragging. Just like Tupac, when Tupac was shot five times, he went ahead and made a song. Five shots couldn't drop me. I took her to smile, man. Nobody's untouchable. We are all flesh and blood. Bullet can't get through you one way or the other. And that's how Tupac too went away after bragging that five shots couldn't drop me. I took her to smile. Young Doctor made a song and said all the shots couldn't drop me. I took her to smile. It's a cold world, man. I just wish all this violence have to just stop. Because they keep taking out our crazy young girls well, young Duff was a great artist was a great motivational speaker was a great influence to the community the youth out there why take up your fellow man why take take down your fellow human being man it's a it's a whole space for everybody to eat but it's a dirty game too you have to do what you have to do and just take out the competition now memphis is all he's every artist now who is coming out from memphis Stevens, he doesn't have any option than to sign to cmg and these guys are more like pimps because once as soon as they sign you if you have your own independent record label they'll make you sign artists on that their, uh, their record label so let me say block black youngster has heavy camp his own independent record label in which he signs artists on that cmg there's more of pimp this more this, this is a real pimp game and 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 black youngster no let me say no black youngster was at his name black boy jb2 has his own imprint and estg2 has his own everybody shines together est everybody shines together and he will say if you want to sign an artist you have to sign them under me so he gets a percentage of your independent record level too and money bag you too has his own bread gang in which he signed Ted and big 30 push at this guy to his record level so this is how the whole thing went. Just let me just give you a breakdown of the reason why Young Duff was killed, why CMG, the label, and your God, he had to take out Young Duff because of he's a competition to them, and he contacted him earlier on to sign to him, and that's how the whole hatred started. And he had to take him out of the of the picture, cropping out like a, like a picture, man. It's a sad game. Rest in peace to Young Duff. It's Duff. Long live Duff. P R E, people are Empire. CMG, the label. Upon life from the hitch goes of goose goose ponder. Oh, yeah, give them if you want an only big fish, big fish from Big Fish Productions. 
and Big Fish Studios reporting live from Hitchcock's of Goose Goose Pond, the Oyateki Chocomilo, signing out, au revoir, take it warm.